Welcome back to Let's Play 3D.Game Heroes. This is part eight. Now, I've actually taken a short break in this game to uh, kind of continue on with a little bit more of the Nier uh, playthrough, a little bit more of the Enchanted Arms playthrough, and a little bit more of the Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin playthrough. So this kind of fell on the back burner, but I'm kind of back to it now. Uh, I did change characters, so we're a dog, and uh, our name is Poochie. Uh, now, I got to remember the controls for this. All right, there's a sword. That's, uh, ha, I like that. I open my mouth and I shoot out a boomerang. Do you see that? Check that out. Oh, come on, face the camera. Nice. Uh, okay. I'm trying to, aha, that's how I shield. That's how I switch weapons. Um, so, let's do this. We're, uh, we're in Nutra Desert here, uh, where we're doing the Nutra Desert, Desert Temple. Um, and I'll be honest with you, this area has been supremely frustrating. Um, now, it's not why I haven't played it in a while, because uh, I, I try not to let things like that bother me, um, especially when I'm having fun. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, doing these Let's Plays um, is, is just a fantastic experience. Like, it's a blast. Um, all right, so you know what I want to do? I want to go ahead and I want to use uh, this one here. Because these guys are jerks, okay? They are, they are supremely frustrating to kill in the sense that the only way to kill them is actually kind of to, to make them attack you and then reflect their uh, stuff back. Or at least currently, this is the only way I know of to do it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to skip... I'm having a hard time lining up my dog. Okay. His, his, uh, his collision data is the full collision data, but his sprite is actually a bit smaller, so it's making it a little bit harder for me to, to do. Hey, can I kill people with these? Oh, it just, it just freezes them. All right, yep. And then we're going to go this way, I think. You know, it's been a while since I played this, unfortunately. So I don't remember the right way. Oh, ooh, bombs. Yeah, I'm going to set up someone to bomb. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think that this is, like, a place I needed to go. Now, I, I hate it. I hate that I take so much damage. Um, I feel like it makes me look like I'm just terrible at this game. Uh, this game is actually kind of difficult at times. And it's a little surprising how difficult it feels. Yeah. Now, I can't remember if I've been to the left or not. I think I have a key now. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I have not been that way. And there's a big mirror here. So you know what? I can probably use this. Yeah, I can probably use this magic here to reveal something. I'm assuming it's a map, but I am unsure. Okay. To the All right, so that is some kind of a that is some kind of a, a map. So there's a Okay. Uh that's just going to bring me back down. Wait, so how do I do this? Aha, there. Ooh, all right. You know what? Uh, man, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't know of any way to heal either inside of like these dungeons. Oh man. Okay, no. You know what? The green apples don't hurt me. Then they give me magic. Uh, cool. So. Ooh, that was almost really bad. Okay. So we saw the solution to this puzzle. Whoa, hey. Ah, you know, I saw that too, and I thought I'd still be fine. All right, green apples. Uh, it was actually two. Well, you know what? Oh. All right, now that that was a good idea, but I have this terrible feeling then that I'm not, I'm not gonna make it for the the sheer reality that I've taken a lot of damage. I'm gonna use the D-pad. I'll tell you the uh, the analog stick for playing this game is not maybe, uh, or is maybe what I would consider to be a suboptimal approach to ooh, to to playing this game. Um.
Huh. Okay. That was really... I don't want to call it dumb. But, wait, what? No! Oh, he says I gotta reset the area, too. Okay. Do I have anything that will alleviate my health problem? I don't think I can use that. Man. I just need a way to, like, heal. Okay. Come on, pup. Now. Okay. Good. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Brilliant. So that's, that's wonderful. And in fact, that should cover the other arrow, I think. Great. So now I can focus on just uh, solving the puzzle. So that's a good way to do this, then. It's, it's, it's a more optimal way to solve the puzzle. What do we have? We have the boss key now. All right, we got the boss key. Now, I kind of think that uh, attacking the boss with the health problem that I have is perhaps what one could, would consider a terrible idea. So I'm facing the likelihood that I will have to uh, kind of kill my character and, uh, and, and sort of reconsider my position on surviving this. Uh, at least, you know, at least until... Is it this one? All right, yep, shiny dog time. Ah, oh, man, all right, that's okay, that's okay. I sort of expected that, okay? We're going to continue because we're almost there. Uh, you know, each one of these trials and errors, and there's they're, they're, they're some huge errors, right? But each one of these trials, it makes us a little bit better. And I hate that I have spent so much time on this dungeon. I, I'm kind of hoping to not have to... Whoa. All right, so let me just switch. Let me just switch to the shook hot hook shot. And I'm just going to avoid these guys. Because, you know, if we trade blows, I, I might not end up actually okay over it. So, yeah. I got to remember. Uh, is it this way? And then up and around and down, and then kind of this way to the left, and then I think that way, and then down was the way in which I needed to go. Now, yeah. Dang. Dang. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. <sighs> Hey, I got an arrow out of that. I don't have a key, though. Okay. Uh, well, we've got the key to the boss room, though. So, I'm going to go kind of up and around and... <laughs> okay, come on. Just go this way. Then here. Wait. Is it that way? It's this way. And then this way. And what's to the north? Also, what's in these these things here oh okay all right not okay hmm so I must go another way oh no I may not must have to actually maybe perhaps I am supposed to go down uh, wait whoop, whoop, whoop. It's these sand things, actually, that really throw me. Um, where I feel like... I feel like I'm just perpetually going the wrong ways uh, repeatedly. So, I can't remember. But let's see... Okay. Well, I could have sworn that one of these leads downstairs. Yeah, okay. The one all the way to the left. Like, I would know that. All right, come on. Give me some apples. Oh, yeah. 
Come on, Poochie. Do the do the thing for me, okay? Okay. All right, little druid shaman guys. All right, move. And there we go. Now, I can't believe it. So for a long time, I really thought that uh, the green apples hurt me, but I didn't actually see any, any damage to me either. There we go. So this is this is what progress looks like. Progress actually looks like showing up to areas that you haven't been yet. And I think this is hopefully the key. Oh no, darn it. I was hoping that that would be a key because I am really looking forward to getting out of this area. Ooh. There we go. Oh, and there's uh, some stairs to an upper floor and bombs. Come on, though. I need a key, right? Voice den schlagen. Okay. Well, I don't know then. All right. So that activates our boss warp. And I guess we're going to kind of do this, unfortunately, half cocked into the battle. And uh, being that we got the hook shot, perhaps... This is what we need to use to defeat the boss. That's, I think, what I would call a reasonable assumption. All right, there's Poochie there. Check out how awesome we are. All right, so he's a big, giant, rock golem-looking thing. Oh. All right, with Lake Laser Vision. All right, so far, I just see that he's got laser vision. I haven't seen him do anything else. I am really presuming, though, that he has more attacks than just laser vision. Did I actually get hit? It sounded like it, but man, I didn't see anything. Am I actually slowly defeating him? He must be multi-stage or something. There's no way he can be this easy the whole time. Wait, oh! Oh man, those laser eyes, they are, oh, okay, okay. All right, so he beats the ground. No! Okay, that's all right, this is a test run. It would have been nice if I could have done it in one shot. Ah! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been nice if I could have done it in one shot, but that's okay. We're going to continue. So he's got two attacks in the second stage. Now, here's the cool part. We can warp right there. And I'm not sure, then, if I'm supposed to do something with the hook shot. Perhaps. Perhaps I am. Okay. Okay. Start to skip. We can keep our distance, which is nice. Because we have the giant sword. So already we're, you know, we're pretty pretty significantly advantaged to where we were before. Man, I think I almost got hit there. He's gonna do the the laser thing. When's he gonna pound the ground though? Cause I'm 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 really nervous about him doing that. Oh! Oh he actually turns and tracks a little bit. Duh! Alright, well there goes our super awesome advantage. Oh he lost a hand. It's that's gonna hit us. Yeah, I knew that was gonna hit us. No! Oh God! Wait, how am I supposed to avoid that? Oh my God, how do I, how do I avoid that? Oh my God, how do I avoid that? I, I see, 
I see what I would call no human way to po uh, to avoid that. Now I wonder if I can then reflect it, right? Because that's so we're gonna do a little bit experimenting, okay? We're gonna try and activate this and see what happens uh, when he gets to that stage. I'm kind of cornering myself here. All right, so the good news is when he first does the laser thing, he only can aim like directly in front of where his head is. So as long as I stay for this first stage, I don't have to take any damage. Okay. I may end up taking a little bit of damage here at this stage, but it's not even a guarantee there. Dang it. Oh, okay. It's just, it's really hard to... All right, let's see if this works. I think that that is, in fact, what works. Oh, no. It still hit me. All right. I really thought that I saw that work. So I did just take some unnecessary damage. Ah. Stay far. Dang it. Oh, no way. All right, this is actually irritating me a little bit. Um I really don't understand how I'm supposed to survive this this final era, this final part. Because he's just he's just capable of dealing too much damage and I cannot survive it. I thought that I could perhaps reflect it with the 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 coin magic thing. We're gonna try again. Um, you know, I really, I don't plan on giving up on any game that I play. Um, I hope that never actually becomes like a scenario I have to entertain, because that would that would be kind of lame, right? But at the same time, what I'm gonna probably have to do though is I'm probably gonna have to end the episode. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, now. Come on, come on. You can keep track of which end is the front by the little coin thing on his on his front. Oh, that's gonna hit. Dang it. Okay. I don't know if that dust cloud part of that attack actually hurts me. Oh, are you serious? I actually got stuck. Oh no! Are you serious? How am I supposed to do this if I can't? Heck, I'm actually doing worse than I've actually done, I think, since I actually learned his initial patterns. Oh my gosh! This is this is actually infuriating me a little bit. I, I have no way to heal that I know of. And I just, I can't defeat him, actually. So what am I supposed to do? Because, I mean, he's, I'm getting him to the, I think his last stage, right? In games like this, typically enemies have three stages when they're multi-stage. Oh my God! Right from the get-go, are you serious? That is just not fair. I can't even hit him now because I have such a small sword. I've got to, uh, it's forcing me to get in really close. And I don't want to be this close to this guy. All right, come on. 
Oh, that was... I, I, that was poor timing is what that was. I mean, I knew... Of course, there we go. We lose an arm. He's about to lock on, do the laser. I mean, you know, at least his patterns are predictable. But at a certain point, he is just literally faster than... than and I, I get it, too. I get that it kind of comes down at the angle at which that I'm... All right, come on. Now, I, what? That should have hit, that should have connected. I get that when it, when it initially locks on. I am really trying to make this work. Come on, lock on. Okay. No! Oh, uh, it's all over. I think he was one hit away from death, too. I think he was one hit away from death. I, I have this feeling in my gut that he was almost dead as a doorknob. How, how Whatever that phrase is honestly supposed to mean, right? But, I mean, really, I think he was just on that precipice. So I'm a little, I'm a little peeved, actually. So we're going to do another attempt, okay? This is Let's Frustrate Carl, Episode 8, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Brilliant game. Not even that hard. I, I mean, I must just be, I think, a terrible gamer or something because this is just crazy ridiculous. All right, come on, come on. Dang it! Come on, I'm not even on stage two and I'm already taking, like, more damage than I want. Oh, that's going to hit. Oh, okay, it's not. Ah! I've learned a little bit how to, like, focus the laser to specific spots, but I just... I can't do it predictably. Not 100%. And so, of course, I'm back to the final stage where I can only shoulder... No, no hits. No, I'm not even at the final stage. All right. Raw! Right? This is this is ridiculous. Do I get a trophy for keeping trying? That literally was two minutes. I looked at the clock, it said 509, now it says 511. I died in two minutes. I cannot even consistently stay alive in this battle. Is there anything I can do with the hook shot? Does the hook shot do anything to this boss? I guess I'm just gonna try and uh no, that that was useless. Dang it. I get that there's an angle thing. I do. It's just, I can't seem to point, I can't seem to determine the exact point in which the angle locks and then stays at that angle. So I realize that I can basically determine an arc for which to avoid once he locks. But yeah, like that, that almost hurt me. So it's a distance thing. It's a distance from the center radius of the arc. So I can, I can keep my distance when I know he's going to lock. All right, so like lock. Okay. Lock. Oh, see, nope. That wasn't even true then. So like, there goes my theory. Is it even reasonably predictable? 
It depends. It's if it sweeps to the left or to the right. Lock. Okay, wait a second. So sometimes he'll lock and go in and out. Sometimes he'll sweep. Sweeps don't actually... Yeah, okay. So sweeps go... Ah! Sweeps are left and right. Some locks are just forward, in and out, or out and in. So that that is the pattern. That is the pattern! I understand now. I understand everything I need to know. Apple time. Yep, life up get! Aw, oh, yeah! Poochie is the man! Ugh. Got the orange orb! You did it, Master Arkadu! It's the orb! Uh, hold on one moment. I do apologize about that. That was a very important phone call. Um, and it totally... Uh, no reception here. So it totally also cut out on him. Monster been, has been guarding it for a long time. It's no wonder those thieves never stood a chance against it. But Master Arkado has slain the beast as only a true hero could. Your strength is without limit, Master. Now, all we have to do is find the sage. But where could he be? I hope no monsters didn't... Nope, that couldn't be. Let's look for clues. All right. So in this instance... I'm going to get the wind wing. Look for clues, huh? And, and then I'm going to end this episode because I actually have to make a phone call uh, to because I couldn't even tell someone to hold on. It just instantly cut out. Uh, I don't see any clues here. Wait, well, so... <clears throat> am I supposed to look for clues in that room? I'm... Gosh, I'm agitated now. Because I'm, I'm supposed to be at a meeting uh, in like 40 minutes here. And quite frankly, I was just trying to get this video off, and I'm worried that I'm going to get called and told that the meeting's been bumped up or bumped back or changed or whatever. So uh, it's nearly impossible to rely on other people uh, for things, which I dislike. And I dislike having to feel like that is the truth. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's warp. Whoa, 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 no. I'm a liar. Let's go ahead and go and bomb. Because I see that crack. Do you see that crack? Now, maybe that's the clue we're looking for. Oh, of course, we got druids and stuff here. And then move from that spot. Because they have this annoying tendency to, to warp right where you are and actually do damage physically. There we go. Okay. So, there's a button there. There's a button there. Now, these all look like they're pushable blocks. Yeah, so... But there's got to be a reason, though, why, uh... Come on. Stop, sli stop sliding off the block. Really? I was just pushing this daggone thing. Uh, that's actually a really weird consequence of, of the game. So I don't know why. All right, so there's some kind of secret here, I guess. Okay, so it takes six hits to kill these big giant golem things. Which is a little ridiculous, but luckily they're actually pretty slow. All right, now I'm gonna, I guess, have to just test it out. Which one of these actually brings me someone I need, somewhere I need to go? Hmm, how much life will I have to sacrifice till I figure it out? Well, okay, just a little bit, just a tiny amount. Oh yes, I got a small ring. The, oh no, you don't.
There we go. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I was curious about what was up with this room and just sort of uh, like the how and the what of it. Um, and I'm not sure where this brings me up. But I'm getting really close to uh, having the need to end this episode, so we may have to leave this as a mystery for another day. Um, you know, you know, I've also got to encode it and and do all these uh, fancy smancy things for it, right? So, in fact, you know what? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out for sure. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and return that missed phone call. And at least get to the outside of this dungeon before I must die. If this is a feasible thing. Nope, it's not feasible. Ah! Seriously? Yes, continue. Because I never even got to, like, save it. No. Alright, so that's okay. Whatever, right? We still have the orbs. Okay, we still got the orange orbs. And I got that ring. I don't know what the small ring does. I'm hoping it does something useful though. Oh, there's some bloom. Okay, all right, so yeah. Thank you so much for joining me for episode eight of Let's Play 3D.Game Heroes for the PlayStation 3. Uh, it's one of my, I, you know, it's one of those games that you know really tickles my fancy because it's kind of classic. So I look very much forward to uh, seeing you the next time for episode nine. Um, of course, this is in plus one channel. Thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like us on Facebook if you're on the Facebook. Uh, you can check us out on LinkedIn. We have a page on LinkedIn now, uh, or actually have for quite some time, but I don't think I've ever talked about that. Um, and maybe a Twitter soon. Uh, I'm definitely considering it and heavy consideration of, of doing the Twitter. Um, but, you know, I don't want to be, like, flooding everything and just being a pain in the butt about it. So anyway, with that said, off we to Zane. I'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, right? Pelevar. Not Pelevar. Pamerlengi. What did I say Pelevar for? Family time. All right. Thanks.